We're in episode two already. Yay! Okay. Here we go. Clacker, okay, here we clacker. Go. Clacker, Light clacker. on set. It is City Talk episode two. Welcome to City Talk. It's about town, Deb. Debbie McCarthy. I'm here with Amber Hill. Hi. One of my besties. And Amber, you've been co-hosting for over a year, I have a feeling. Could yes. Be two. It's I'm been a long time. It's oh been God. a long time. I love it. But the best part is you are going to continue with me on this journey Absolutely. as we are now at Dream Pilot Films in Sparks, Nevada. It's gorgeous. Which is really cool. And we are here thanks to Surratt Law, Dream Pilot Films, and Design on Edge. Yay. Cheers How, to Design on cheers Edge. Cheers to awesome. Design on Edge and Dream Pilot and everybody. It's just so cool. I'm just very... I'm grateful to have you guys tuning in again. This is our second show officially in Sparks, Nevada at Dream Pilot Films. And, and in case you didn't see the first one, we're really about community. We're about connecting. It's about heart to heart. It's about women, men, family, community, all of that stuff. We're here for you. We, we want to know what you want us to talk about. We want to know what events are coming up. We want to know what's your favorite restaurant, what's your favorite beverage and mm. we're going to be talking about beverages today as we have in our hand we're not going to really tell you what it is we have a sip though mm. it's quite tasty that's for it's sure it's quite tasty but it's a combo of two of our guests that are going to be on later so today we are going to have we're going to have two jamie so don't get confused we have jamie <laughs> chapman and jamie witten and one is kind of the head pineapple you you've yes. seen jamie you've seen jamie chapman because she we love hanging out with jamie she is like the rock star of reno and i gotta tell you jamie is stepping up her game i don't even know how she's gonna sleep pineapple pedicabs is, if you've seen the pedicabs around yeah. reno she's your girl and yeah. if you come to reno she's gonna tell you how you can get on a pedicab and ride but i our community is about connecting Mm -hmm. And I love the idea yes. that that's why you're here. That's why Jamie and Jamie are here. It's because we are all a community and we're all connecting. So Jamie Witten, um, I have known her brother um, for quite a while, and or your brother and your sister-in-law, um, and they have this amazing new tequila that we're going to be sipping, actually mm -hmm. sipping and sampling. Yummy. And a little hint, there's some tequila in here. And then on the other segment, you're going to also be sharing mm -hmm. a lot what's going on with Dermidus Chocolate yes. with this cool collaboration with the university. And we're going to be talking about the cool coffee connection. And there's, we won't tell you <laughs> there what. There might be some might in be here some as in well. Here. <laughs> so we are really... So that's what we're about mixing it up. We're mm -hmm. about doing this. So Amber, have you like what's been happening in your world? Um, I have just been enjoying this rain that we've been having and also just getting into the summer vibes. I just recently got a kayak. I got an Oru kayak, oh. like the origami folding ones. Um, I haven't taken it out yet. Um, I'm super excited. I have to get a paddle. I bought this kayak and then it didn't come with a paddle. I so didn't you need know a paddle. You had to buy it separately. I wouldn't know um, that either. Yeah. So, so you I'm know, super looking so you to mentioned that. like the summer in June. So yeah. I have a quote to go with that. Ooh. Little did yes. I know you were going to say that. It and always works this way. But that's what I love about it. <laughs> so here we go. There's actually two. Everyone has somebody worthy to grow and celebrate, forget, forgive, rediscover, and mm -hmm. appreciate this month. And I appreciate this month because I'm getting to start over and I'm getting a new beginning thanks to Design on Edge, Courtney, and, and Grandma B, my mom. So here's a quote from my mom. So mm -hmm. my top, my mom bought me my top to wear. To to escape and sit quietly on the beach or in Palm Desert, that is my idea of paradise. This one is for my mom. My mom is staying in um, Palm Desert right now with Ellie, and she always says, are you going to come to paradise with me? <laughs> so I was in paradise the last few weeks um, helping to take care of my mom and hang out with her, and we got to eat out, and we got to, she went in the jacuzzi. Did and, she specifically buy your top for you to be like, you can wear this on your show? That's such a cute mom thing to do. You know do. what? She bought me and like- your outfit's killer, by the way. Well, the outfit, the rest of the outfit is from Labels. Mm. Mm, nice. And yes. these are Chloe pants. Chloe pants, like and, the brand Chloe. Yeah, and look at I have like fancy Prada. See the little sticker. Ooh, gorgeous. Prada shoes. <laughs> See the sticker? <laughs> <laughs> She's got Prada I, on today, you guys. Okay, this is really serious. No, I'm saying <laughs> I, I, I don't usually wear a lot of that. And then I have these amazing earrings, um, as you can see. From. Also from labels? Also from labels. So Blythe is so good. I haven't been so there in a while. I need to get back and in there. do you notice my hair? I always show my hair on the show now with my braids. Gorgeous. Caliber hair and makeup. Megan, um, what time were you in the makeup chair this morning? 8.30. <laughs> I don't think I got out of bed until probably 9. 8.30. So <laughs> anyway, I'm just very grateful our community comes together. Um, anyway, we're almost to the first break. So, um, anything you want to share about what, your excitement for the new show um, before we get going? This drink is fantastic. Uh, the tequila 
<clears throat> maybe tequila and the <clears throat> maybe cold brew coffee is absolutely <laughs> refreshing. Thank you. It is really good. So we are going to put our glasses down. We're going to take a break and we come back. We are going to have the two Jamies on set. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. It's About Town Deb with City Talk and Amber Hill. Welcome back to City Talk. I'm about town Deb, Debbie McCarthy, your host. And I'm so excited. I have Amber, my amazing, amazing co-host who's been with me for so long. And we have the two Jamie. The Jamie. The Jamie Squared. Jamie, Jamie, Jamie Squared. Yes. <laughs> so we have the Midtown Pineapple Jamie and we have the Tequila. Tequila. The Pina Jamie. Lady. Hey, yeah, pineapples like and tequila. Pineapples and tequila. <laughs> Actually, I did Google because I went and bought a bottle. Um, at oh actually at um, Rayleigh's they have the new one on Seventh Street yeah. so I wanted to support them and I'm like looking and you guys were right there I was so excited and you guys you must be wow. everywhere it's so cool so you went to the one on Seventh Street um, Key Street. it just got remodeled okay, so the grand my opening childhood uh, Ooh, grocery that. store oh <laughs> so <laughs> that is where yes. I went to get my tequila that I have over there so I'm really excited <laughs> and I so I was googling to try to find out I'm not like a mixologist what you know what should I mix with it and pineapple was actually one of the things that popped up and grapefruit that popped up too yes. so um yeah so I'm excited to have both of you here so the reason why our show is part is community is what we're about mm -hmm. so that's why we have all of us here because in some way we all partner together. I do a lot with um, Dorinda's Chocolate yes. as About Town Deb. Uh, we do many wine and chocolate tastings together and we do lots of raffle baskets together and we do lots of donations together. So I really love that. And Jamie here with the Midtown, we do like anything she needs. I'm like, what do you need? We love to yeah. support. We love Midtown <laughs> and you know, we love Reno. And I'm we sure you. you guys have your own Midtown, I'm sure in your city. So please support them. And then I met your brother like way, way, way back way when, back. before I even knew about the tequila. Mm -hmm. So it's really nice. And you're partnering with the Pedicabs and you're doing stuff with um, Dorinda. Yeah, tell, tell us about your yeah. partnership. Tell us about the partnership. There's tapas, there's a tapas and It sounds fun. Tequila. For so. sure. Yeah, so Jamie and I came up with this tour where we're combining all local businesses with a local tequila and a local transportation. So we're visiting four different locations and we're partnering with eight different businesses, including Dorinda's, Tentor, Noble Pie, Wonder mm. Ale Works, oh. The Wayfair. All Cheese, great companies too. I love all oh, of those guys. Forest Street yeah. Station. Mm -hmm. You know, I have, I have been to Forest Street Station. Oh, it's great. Great. We're doing a tequila tour on Thursdays and Saturdays, okay. and it starts at Forest Street Station. <laughs> yes. How does I didn't even know that? Yes. Yes. What's the plan, guys? Where you'll meet me. <laughs> you will be there. I will be there, and, and what I do will a, you be doing? I will do a quick education if you're unfamiliar with really how tequila is made, and also with El Sativo. Well, mm. I'm kind of It'll thinking be similar to this. You know, there might be yep. somebody listening from not from Reno or Carson or Sparks. Maybe mm -hmm. that you want to give us a teaser and yes. start. Yes. tasting right now you guys ready to <gasps> sip yes. i think we yes. should sip and, and tell Always. us how we sip and tell uh -huh. us a little bit as you're getting ready to share a little bit about your story as we're sipping and sampling awesome well we'll start with the blanco okay um <laughs> where should i start family story family. or actually start with the tequila start with the tequila <laughs> i'm gonna take a sip it's of this <laughs> okay <laughs> we all have to take a sip together mm. yes okay. yes well we'll start Still with the tequila first, and then we'll get, into down. we'll get into our story okay, this is the blanco this is the blanco so i mm. tell everybody anytime you try a new tequila try the blanco first. first if you don't love the blanco the rest of the skews are garbage and the reason why <laughs> what is that wait, is wait, wait, because wait. i know i know a lot of people are like oh i i drink reposados or añejos or extra añejos um when you start to barrel you can cover up a lot of those cut corners mm. additive Ooh. chemicals again 97 percent of all tequila brands out there use harsh chemicals and additives well that's kind of scary so <laughs> always start with the blanco and also a really fun 
trick if you pour before you even taste oh, okay pour a little bit in your hand okay a lot of cat doors do this okay you, you pour it in your oh, hand on. you rub it in your hold hand on. hold on hold on, hold on. I know. Hold <laughs> on. <laughs> don't go on the white carpet okay yes, go ahead. And anybody what? at home any new tequila brand you always okay. want to start with this first so rub a little bit like in your hand you're yeah. going to bring it up to your nose breathe through your nose out through your mouth and you're going to get the full characteristics of the body of the tequila you get those Stone fro uh, fruits, apologize, mm. um, dried mangoes, apricots, white earth pepper. Ooh, you get the sharing. full flavor notes. You can. Okay? And so then rubbing your hands together, if there is any residue left, stickiness, that means there's chemicals. Yeah. Oh my God. So then I'm you can always test. I'm pouring alcohol in my hand. You can bar. always test any <laughs> brand. To I have see. no sticky. Yes, it evaporates, nice. it leaves your hands soft. And that's how you know. But anyway, getting into uh, okay. that, <laughs> getting into the sipping Thank part. Thank you. I like that. Again, what you what you smelt on your hands, um, dried fruits, dried mangoes, mm -hmm. apricots, that earth mm -hmm. white pepper, that savory agave finish. Uh, again, we don't add any additives, so there's no vanilla mm -hmm. extracts, glycerins, sugars. It's just real, just nice pure. Tea. Tea. Vanilla. Yeah, a little bit of vanilla, but vanilla. there's no vanilla in tequila. It's really interesting. But then how do you people how think. do you get the flavors so, that you're talking about? Like those dried mangoes and apricots, they naturally have the natural vanilla. sweet notes, oh. fruit notes. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, sipping all blancos should be able to sip. Raise your hand. How many blancos you sip? So that actually sipping Anybody? that just now was super delicious. It was, and I've never really been like a straight tequila type girl. Yeah. That was so Let, good. That's why she's this, this, so, this is why we partner. This is why that's why we're here. <laughs> when we do demos, tequila education dinners. I always let everybody know, because there is a little bit of a stigma with tequila. You know, there's a lot of people that are like, oh, that was college years. I can't do tequila anymore. Sometimes well, tequila gets a me. Lot of, just, mm. <laughs> a lot of, gets a you lot of our demographic or our clientele <laughs> are mm. bourbon and wine drinkers, because mm. you get those natural vanilla notes. Also, you get um, a lot of minerality in our juice from that volcanic rock. We run all of our water through mm -hmm. 135 feet of volcanic rocks, so it's a high alkaline neutral water. I also like to say dirty water. Water, dirty hangover okay? oh. and then a lot of people don't know that's where you get the hangover so moving on real quickly our Blancos unage we go right out of distillation into Kentucky bourbon barrels nine months Tennessee whiskey barrels 16 months very different from each other you're gonna get on that reposado mmm yummy yummy wow Oh, I'm on some, the second one. Some really, uh huh. Okay. Some really fun Ooh. spices: gingerbread, Ooh. candy pecan, macadamia nuts. A really sassy finish. The, uh, <laughs> the fun thing about El Sativo is that we have all three amazing oh. things that not all tequila have. This it's the nose, the body, it. and an amazing finish. Oh, we love a good finish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, we do, Deb. And if yes, you love Palomas, like this little cup right here, the reposado. Oh, this is, is really the good. Best with tropical fruit, like. <laughs> grapefruit and pineapple uh and then moving on to the inyejo uh, okay, really fun go. tennessee whiskey it's almost an extra inyejo at 16 months why is it called what is tennessee? It extra inyejo oh. sorry so well, this is not time, an extra inyejo it's almost an extra inyejo because of the age okay so it's at 16 months Ooh. and you're gonna get some natural uh, this one's a little cacao, spicy cacao notes Banana notes, dried fruits like uh, prune, mm. raisins, light smoke on the back end. And yeah. really, because we have no additives, you're not going to get those caramel colorings, the glycerins, mm. the added yeast, all the chemicals and additives. This is my favorite. Yeah, Isn't this that one's fun? my favorite. Mm. And it's actually my favorite for margaritas. You just add <sighs> lime, light agave, super simple. So that would be a skinny margarita? It's, no. no. What's, a, it, it what's the of, difference? So skinny margarita is less agave syrup. So less sweet. So, so a little more tart a forward. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, if you like Cadillacs, which I do, you don't need all the other stuff. <laughs> I do you just like Cadillacs. Add lime and agave. I like but really that. important thing, last thing about us, USD organic, 100%. It's very rare. We fit in 1% of all tequila brands. We're single estate, which means one farm, one distillery. We're added to free, non-GMO, non-GMO, kosher certified, as well as high alkaline neutral. Wow, water. that's beautiful. Dang. Yes. So beautiful. And wow. family owned here, born and raised in Reno. Uh, and uh, we teamed up with our good friends, the Montez family, a fourth generation Ooh. family of master distillers in Amatitan, Jalisco. So we make oh. all of our tequila down there with them. 
and yeah. and you guys actually go down there right? oh yeah oh yeah you guys are in the field yeah. right so what how what well, is that like well so our my, our family my brother dave witten is the captain of our ship the He's, captain <laughs> he, he uh, created our distillation and filtration process awesome so um that's what we're responsible for and we just wanted to change the stigma of americanized tequila and go back to traditional tequila making use a little bit of chemistry in the back background and uh, elevate your drinking experience. I'm all warm and fuzzy now. I know. <laughs> well, you know what? We're going to take a break, warm. but you're not, neither one of you are going it. As you know, with City Talk, we just roll with it. We keep it organic. <laughs> you're both staying because we got much more to talk about. We'll be right back. It's about time to have a City Talk. Hang tight. In a world where most of us don't often think about what it means to be in an emergency, there's one thing that's certain. At St. Mary's, we're grateful for our fellow emergency medical service responders who do. And although we're not firefighters, EMTs, paramedics, or police officers, the care we provide begins with them. And at St. Mary's, we appreciate you, helping us to offer the lowest ER wait times in the area. We thank you for partnering and providing compassionate care day and night. From St. Mary's, we thank you for all that you do. Welcome back. It's about time to have a city talk. Debbie McCarthy, Amber, right Hello. over here, my co-host. She's so cute. And so Amber, she actually, Amber M. F. Hill. Yes. She is, she leads with love. So tell, tell mm -hmm. us a little bit about how you came up with your tagline. Um, so yeah, Amber M. F. Hale. Um, those are my middle initials, Mary Fairlight. Um, everybody thinks it's Amber Mother hail and it actually is um little uh, i was born that way you know but um <laughs> amber mf hail keep it real lead with love um that's kind of just you know something that i feel like represents who i am and how i decide to lead my life um so yeah that's just my little tagline um i work with dorinda's chocolates uh, we have kind of mentioned that a few times um and yeah super excited to share some of the goodies i brought here today i'm really excited about that <laughs> so amber when she's my co-host she's my co-host one once a month at least mm -hmm. um, and when she is my coach she's representing Amber yes she's, it's all about Amber <laughs> and I love that because if I'm having a rough day or I need something I can say Amber help or she could do that with me so I really want yes. you guys to know if you're out there if you have that somebody you need to like reach out to them it's okay to call your bestie and say you know what I'm really having a bad day and when people say how how are you it's okay to say not good today and Amber's done that. I'm like, yes. she looks, she goes, you're not doing like, no, I'm not. I'm having and a on the good day. days, don't, don't forget to like Share reach out day. and say, hey, yeah. I love you. Thank yeah. you for being there for me. I'm proud of you. You know, yeah. keep it real. Lead with love. I think that's just the message that I try to exhibit always. So, so that is why we're here on set. We're going to continue because there's so much to say about tequila. I had no <laughs> idea. Right? I, I know. I'm not kidding. I had no idea. <laughs> I know. I was blown away tequila. by now. Yeah. It's, it's amazing. But I want to go back to you guys are about giving back. You care about the planet. And you had already mentioned that. But I'd love you to say a little bit more about your mission a little bit more. You covered it, but not. Well, the thing that a lot of people they don't know about tequila is that since there's so many chemicals, we really pride ourselves on being USDA 100% organic. Uh, and a lot of people don't know that the fields in Jalisco uh, are being ruined by all these chemicals, the additives, um, and it's killing the land. So you can't regrow. Mm. And so that's why all these distilleries oh are goodness. having to you know, source uh, agaves from different places. They don't know oh. the age, they don't know what chemicals are on them. Um, and then they can't replant. So for so us, what, hap what happens if they can't replant? What do they So they do? have to source from other places. And so that's why tequila is getting one very expensive. There's a lot of brands that are obviously going up in, in price, um, but it's just not sustainable. And for us mm. going into why we wanted to partner with Ocean Conservancy is because, you know, water is our most important thing on the planet. Mm -hmm. You know, our water is high alkaline neutral water. Um, and uh, we went to the extent of 100% recycled glass, organic soluble label, and uh, we gave a percentage back to Ocean that's Conservancy with every bottle purchase. I think that's a really big deal. Yeah. That's I love really, that. And that's really- Thank you. It, yeah. yeah, thank you. Yeah. But, and you're a family as well. And so yes. I, just, I just think, how cool is it to have a business where you know you're giving back, you know you're part of a family and you're part of a community. Yeah. So thank you so much for doing that. Yeah. Let's go back to Local. a little bit about the partnership. Mm -hmm. So talk a little bit more also about the pedicabs, like what other activities you're having, what's happening in Midtown. 
I don't want to forget Midtown because we love Midtown. If you guys <laughs> haven't gone on a pedicab tour, oh, you, it's so much fun. I highly recommend. It's so cool. The first yeah. time I actually ever was on a pedicab was with Deb. I know. When we went and saw all of the lights. <laughs> the oh, Christmas the lights. tour. It the was the twinkle, twinkle tour. tour. First time I that was pedicab. my first time. I was so nervous. I don't I know, know why. She was but so it was nervous. so cool. Just kind of zip it around. Yeah. You weren't. No, no you. Okay. Yeah, you didn't. Our like driver was really cool though. You didn't pick us. Yeah. Next time she's pick us. Guilt her. I wasn't supposed to drive at all. Okay. That happened. <laughs> that happens. Look, Jamie's just showing up for everybody. Yeah, yeah. that's what she does. That's what we do. That's yeah. what happens when you own a business, guys. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so um, tell a little bit about yourself and the pedicabs and that too. I'm, a, I'm Jamie. I'm head pineapple. I, I know. pineapple pedicabs. I've been on this show several times I talking know. about pineapples and pedicabs <laughs> and all things. Um, but yeah, we have a lot of fun things going on, like our tequila and tapas tour that we are continuing mm -hmm. for the month of June. We ran it through the I'm month excited there. about that. I do another do. month on Thursdays and Saturdays. You can book it. And then we're also teaming up with Cherie and, and Hungry and Reno. I saw that. From the last to, show? From yes. the last show? Yeah. Cherie, yeah. yeah. So we're doing a, a food and drink week tour. She reached out last year and asked if we could partner and we came up with this tour. It did great. So we're doing it again this year. We're doing, yeah, they're really cool. So we do three separate ones of downtown, midtown and brewery. And the who, if you want to book one, you can go on, pick your location and then you can pick your stops. So you can pick four stops. Oh, it's really that's so awesome. cool. Yeah, like so you can do, I'm only drinking or I only want to do dessert places. And or then we recommend have, sharing or, or them. Don't, don't get your or own. Or you don't too. have, you don't have to drink. Two, right? You don't have to drink on any That's of our. That's what I'm trying. Well, except for our tequila well, tour. Yeah. Most of our tours, <laughs> you have to drink. On most of our tours tour. that we do offer <laughs> like a mural tours and non-drinking. Yeah, have a lot we of have. Different ones. Yeah, we have mural history tours of Burning Man art, all sorts of fun tours. Mm -hmm. And nice. So, yeah. And so Midtown nice. is Midtown's <laughs> gearing up, right? So the countdown is on I know. to dancing in the streets. Yeah. And VIP tickets went on sale yesterday or two days ago. So we started a new program this year because last year everybody was overheating and needing a drink <laughs> and relax areas. Yeah. So we have a VIP ticket this year that comes with a survival bag. Whoa, you get a, what, what's in the survival whoa. bag? Well, you'll have to stay tuned. Oh, dang it. Should have brought it. I don't know. Could be um, the hat that you have on your head. Could be. Ooh. Could be. We, we, you know, just stay tuned. The But you'll also get a petty <laughs> pass. So you'll get the petty cabs unlimited your first curve so there'll be a pedicab stationed outside of the ip tent Ooh, that you'll have VIP that'll tent. be your own transportation to all the stages there's <sighs> free alcohol free water <laughs> oh my i think and uh, tickets are 49 dollars right is now not really bad. go up they go up next month, I think. So you have to buy this, the early bad. bird special. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Because seriously, and they're, they're it, only doing 200 of them. So that's a really good idea. Yeah, was, it's it going to be great. It was warm last year. It's and there so were so odd. many people, but to know you have your own private tent. Yeah, you have where your you own can tent get with and... your own little music stage, imbibe, oh. and tent tour, mm. and some of the other local nice. businesses are going to be providing. Reno alcohol. is so just freaking awesome. Reno oh is my rad. Gosh. Reno is rad. <laughs> we love Reno. Dang. I love it. Yeah. So, Jamie, Huge how long fan. have you been in Reno? Four, I just had my four year anniversary. That's what I was saying. Yeah, May 17th. And when I first met Jamie, before I knew Jamie was Jamie. Was, <laughs> I love this story. No, because I didn't even know who Jamie was, but we were at the <laughs> at the Christmas tree lighting downtown. And all of a sudden, I'm here's this gal, a little Santa Claus costume with her hair. And I'm like, who is this girl? And she's just a little pedicab. And I had no idea that now, Jamie, <laughs> years later, literally, you are now taking a step up at the Midtown district are you now you have a new title now what are you doing are you doing events um yes i'm <laughs> i call myself several things but i'm the special event director but think about that you when you first were in town you had your little pedicab and you were just little Jamie, just a santa just santa going around and now <laughs> you have taken charge of our community well, i also only had one pedicab i know saw me. But Wait, how many do you have now five five, five. nice Pack. It's amazing. I'm just so proud yeah. of you. I just think that. Oh, thanks. I mean, no, but anything. I got you. Seeing no, growth is amazing, right? No, but I'm watching all of you grow. I mean, from the beginning, because I was there from the beginning of the tequila. I, mm -hmm. Amber, when she first started at Dorinda's, I was there, <laughs> and yeah. with Jamie, and yeah, with this with Jamie Chapman, I didn't even know who you were, and then I'm like, dang, now she's on my show, and she's <laughs> rocking our town, yeah. and she's volunteering, and you're stepping up on all these boards. Thank you. Thank you. It takes people like that to step up. Very true. For so. for the 
just the tequila and the pedicab tour. Yeah. How do we sign up for yeah, that? Yeah, how do we sign up? I'm curious. <laughs> PineapplePedicabs.com. Nice. Tequila and tapas. But if you go to PineapplePedicabs.com, you'll see tours. You click mm -hmm. there. It's the first thing you see. What are some of the goodies that we'll be able to have on the tour? Ooh. She's not going to tell you. She's not going to tell you. So well, no, there's going to be there, there's we have to go to break. We have to go to break pretty oh, okay. soon, so you can't know. She can't know. Well, listen, so I'm going to talk that. about the okay, last stop up. because that's it's pretty cool. Up. So it's four stops. We combine eight local businesses. The last <laughs> cocktail on the tour is four local businesses in one drink. <laughs> in Whoa, one drink. Yes. One drink. <laughs> yeah, guys. Dynamite. It's been fun, like planning this whole thing. Mm -hmm. We like we're tasting. Like, does this match? Does this match? Is this taste? It's so cute. It's so yummy. No, yeah. but see, with your your initiative and your mm. creativity, that's what it's about. And you always have said, "Hey, Deb, I have this idea. This idea." So thank you. Mm -hmm. We're gonna take another break. I'm not sure if it's our final break, but we are gonna be right back, and we're gonna show you a little mm. bit about some cold brew coffee. Be right back. It's about time, Deb. To beat eye to eye, no time to lock. Welcome back. It's about time, Deb. Debbie McCarthy. Amber is here, and Jamie and Jamie, and they both spell their name the same way. Hi, May. Hi, May. I am E. How cool! And so you rare. both have blonde hair, and you're both gorgeous, and you're both entrepreneurs, and yeah, we're very we have lucky a, to we have a lot you. of things in common. I'm yes. so excited. Except yes. you're in black, and she's in white. That's I know. Very reverse, switched. reverse. <laughs> we switched today. Yeah. So I'm only really I'm in yellow, and she's in black. <laughs> so normally we we always do a Deb's pick, and. So when Amber and I came out, we had a combo because mm. my pick, my, so actually Amber's pick is she's going to talk about my pick really today was El Sativo because I really want to, I love between my last show, I had Frey Ranch, I had Tahoe Blue mm. and I'm really about local. And so I love it that everybody's different so I can have my tequila, my vodka and my whiskey. Oh my gosh. All local. I, <gasps> Hello. And That's I've perfect. been there since they all started. <laughs> I was there from the beginning of yeah. the tequila, the beginning of the whiskey, the beginning of the, what's the other one? I need to spruce up my bar at home. Spruce up your Jeez. bar. And you only want local. But yes. there are other options. Sometimes people would like a really good ice cold coffee. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to let Amber, I would love to yeah. tell me about other partnerships that mm -hmm. you guys have done. And then let's um, check out this coffee over here. Tell so, us about what's going on. Yeah, at the beginning of the show, Deb and I had uh, alluded to our beverages here yeah. that we've been sipping on uh, since before the show, actually. Cheers. Um, and Jamie whipped this up for us. She did uh, it. Randomly. I had, <laughs> I had brought in this cold brew. Um, it's a collaboration between Dorinda's Chocolates and Lighthouse Coffee, um, which is a locally owned coffee shop here in Reno. Um, we have a really great uh, partnership with them. They're really great people um and so we've had these uh cold brew we launched this probably about a year ago now we used to have it in cans um and it just wasn't as uh, sustainable so we moved to mm -hmm. these glass jars Love it. Uh, and we have a program where if you bring them back um you'll get like a percentage off of your next oh, one great. yeah so if you haven't been to lighthouse coffee and sparks please check them out uh, super delicious and yeah jamie i'm pretty sure you took this uh the chocolate cold brew and uh, put it over some ice and mixed it with a little bit of tequila. Yes, you don't have to add anything oh, else. So you know what I, so good. You know yes. what I think I'd like you to do? <laughs> Can you like pour a little bit of that coffee or one of these Absolutely. in my little empty tequila glass? Yes, yes, um, yes. Because yes. every now and then I need to pick me up. So um, this cold brew will absolutely <laughs> do that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, when I was bringing it this morning, Dustin, our COO of Dorinda's Chocolates, um, actually CEO now, Congrats. Ah, um, Love you, like, Dustin. He was like, if everybody drinks one of these right before the show, they're going to be freaking out. The whole show is going to be chaotic. And I'm like, mm, I like that. <laughs> of course, Amber <laughs> like not that. tell me that ahead of time. I know. I'm starting to feel it. No. All so, right. Cold brew has like um, uh, much more caffeine so, than like a regular brewed coffee. Oh, you want some so, too? Pour so what's up. the difference I mean, after between that kind of sales pitch? I know. Me too. Me too. What's yeah, the well, difference? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I want to feel crazy. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. Isn't that tasty? So this is the mocha cold brew. This is So incredible. it literally is just straight like cold brew. We like to do a lot of our stuff the way that like El Sativo does. No additives, no preservatives, the purest ingredients. Mm. Ooh, so yeah. um, this cold brew actually has um, not too long of a shelf life. Um, we make our batches very small and very quickly um, because this is literally just straight cold brew coffee with cocoa from Dorinda's Chocolates. So um, it can't, you so have to good. drink it pretty. It's, our products are meant to be enjoyed, um, not, mm, you know, so kept good. in your refrigerator for days and days. So, um, you know, when you come in and get a cold brew, it's gonna be super fresh and super delicious. Yeah. And, um, you know, just those good pure ingredients that make you feel good. And, mm. you know. And if you want a quick just, cocktail. Yes, I chocolate. I'm, Cold brew. That's gonna be like in the, in the, yeah, in the reposado. Right. Okay, so we need to hold delicious. that. Hold that in that together. Jerry. Hold was that up. For a us. match made in heaven. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you. Exactly. It, no, seriously. But isn't this what it's about? Think about it. We're all four sitting here. We're all connected. We all love our community, and we're all giving back. And I am just so proud of all of Cheers you. Cheers to that. Cheers, Cheers to community. So out there, get involved in your community. Yes. And the other pick I didn't mention this time is my About Town Deb wine. Mm -hmm. I have um, a red blend, and I have a Sauvignon Blanc, and we donate a portion to Northern Nevada Children's Cancer Foundation. Mm -hmm. It's 15% when, like, if a restaurant buys it, 15%. If you go online to Crystal Basin Cellars or e easier, bouttowndeb.wine, bouttowndeb.wine. Every bottle you purchase of either the red blend, the Sauvignon Blanc, a dollar of each bottle goes to Northern Nevada Children's Cancer. I love that. Nice. So wow. Which my brother in law buys all the time. He does. Yes. You're See? about to tell Deb wine? Yeah, all the time. Nice. He Aww. loves it. I'm so It is delicious. I, I mean, we went mm -hmm. to that tasting. It was yeah. Great. So I'm just, I mean, <laughs> it's just, I feel like. It's nice, like when I wanted this, I went and bought yours. I mean, that's what it's about. It's about supporting each other. So I'm really happy mm. about that. So what else is happening in Midtown? I don't want to make, I want to make sure Midtown gets a little bit more mm. love. Well, when does this air? About two weeks. Okay, cool. So we'll talk Second about first Thursdays. <laughs> there you I'm, go. Uh, every first Thursday, we have specials and fun things happening in Midtown. For in collaboration with that, I sit on the board for Chucky Meadows Bike Alliance, where uh -huh. we do a lot of bike infrastructure and biking education. So in collab mm -hmm. with Midtown Districts, every first Thursday, we are doing a bike ride. And the bike rides Ooh. are themed. Oh. And do I get to dress up? They're for, oh. and, so you can. I saw you, them. I yeah. came out of Caliber and you guys were there with your Star so Wars. that was May the 4th be on your bike. Yes. Oh my gosh. It was yes. so cool. But, but listen, the cool thing about these rides are, is that they're for everybody. So if you... If I have training wheels? If you have training wheels. <laughs> I mean, I ride a trike for a living. I, you, I, you, whatever experience level you are, trike. we're, we're going to walk you through like and make you feel comfortable. Like this is bike signals oh, and we're riding as oh, a group. Yes. They're smaller groups. So you can feel comfortable and learn how to ride on the streets. So I lead them I need that. every first Thursday. No, I, this one in June is, and then they're educational. So the one in June is a native plant and tree that. identification guide. Oh, I love that. Um, the that's, one, that's you. I'm really that nice. is guys, so you do first. Um, in <laughs> July, I'll be leading us through art, some art murals and doing one of my that art is a tours. Really, your art tour is amazing with the murals. Yeah, I so tell for you, our town, we're I gonna do that. That, that. that one won't be on first Thursday, stay tuned. That'll be first Thursday is Dancing in the Streets in July. Oh, yeah, that's so, right. So, um, and then August, August, September, one's going to be history and one is going to be with the Audubon Society. We're going to do birds, local bird Oh my gosh. So Reno is thing, stepping up. Come, yes. come ride your bike in Reno oh. and learn the rules and feel comfortable. Yes. And I let's use to. our bike lanes mm -hmm. and utilize. I often find this. myself like wanting yeah. to like ride my bike like to downtown and then I get nervous yeah. about so riding here, on the yeah. street. I, I kept be... hearing this. This is why I was like, well, let's just come ride with me. I'm not. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you're all there with your pedicab. I mean, yeah. I'm like, <laughs> I've seen you. You got to be aggressive, though, with the pedicab. I am kind sure. of aggressive, but yeah, I you can see it to you. You just got to pretend to have confidence. You're like, people don't want That's how to you do hit. it. They yeah. don't want to, right? Like, be, well, I don't I'm big hit you. and I'm loud. No, you don't want to hit a bike. No. It's worse damage for you than it is for I me. Mean, no, we don't. It's going to be more expensive for you. 
<laughs> <laughs> so really, you you are you have really stepped it so up. I'm so, so excited exciting. about that. Yeah, is this Thursday. Come join. It's this Thursday, and then we stop. We make stops at local midtown businesses. Local. Hear the word local. And Hashtag local. Mm -hmm. local. Mm -hmm. um, we stop at the local businesses, and we'll get drinks. And so we do a drink stop, a food stop, and the venue provides us little discounts or fun specials just for the cyclists. And we always end at entertainment, like a live oh, music cool. or something mm -hmm. happening nice. in town. So a little tease. They're about now, three hours. We're yeah. going to switch it a little. So Jamie, you guys have a little something yes. going on. Another yeah. Can you tease yeah, a little bit about yeah. this little tease? Yeah. I mean, part of our tequila and tapas tour, we're doing a fun coffee uh, chocolate tequila martini oh. at Chewy's in yes. Midtown. Uh, that's our last stop. That's the four. Uh, yes. That's and, the four. Uh, okay. <laughs> but Dorindos. later down the road, um, we, um, about a week later, we're going to do a fun little feature. Um, mm -hmm. They're making some El Sativo delicious Yay. chocolates that we <laughs> totally fell in love with. The inside um, scoop here. Just yeah, so, you know. so we're going to be sampling some fun tequila chocolates as well as collaborating with Chewy and sampling out that uh, uh, tequila coffee chocolate Mm. Um, cocktail. It's kind of Delicious. reminding me yeah, of like this type of vibe right now. It's yeah, so tasty. a little bit. It's kind of yeah. like that. They're <laughs> dangerous. We are mm. winding down this segment. Then we just come back for a short segment at the end. So just to make sure, how would, how do we get a hold of you guys? Oh, um, well, elstivo. Pretty easy. Yeah, yeah. Jamie? For me and for the tour is pineapplepettycaps.com, and you can find everything there. And for the Midtown, if you want yeah. to learn more about Dancing in the Streets and get your VIP tickets. I think that's a big deal. VIP that tickets. They're available until sold out. Is, <laughs> yeah, renomidtown.com slash art town. Or okay. art walk. And can I say one thing you could about say, the yeah. tequila tapas tour? Yeah. Um, it is every Thursday and Saturday yes. through the whole month of June. Of June. Got it. Yes. So go to pineapplepettycabs.com uh, slash tequila and tapas. Yep. Um, but let's do a shout out of all the businesses. Um, that yeah, was, the, yeah. That, that so we're, we're going to take our last break. Okay. And we can come back. We're going to do a shout out to the businesses. And then I have a quiz for you guys. Okay. So we'll be right back. It's About Town Dev with City yes. Talk. Heather. Did you know that Junkie Clothing Exchange is moving? Yes, I heard, but not till October 1st, right? I know, but we are moving. October 1st, though. But we are moving. Where are we moving to? Two locations, but... Not till October 1st. We're going to be there all summer, Heather. Birdie Man, festival season, all summer. Where? Midtown. Our old location. Yes, 960 South Virginia Street. We're going to be there all summer. But did you hear the rumors? Oh, I heard them. Oh, I did too. We're packing up. We're moving. We are at our same location all summer until October 1st. Junkie Clothing Exchange in the heart of Midtown District. Welcome back. It's our final segment. It goes by Yay. so fast. Fast. It's about town Deb, Debbie McCarthy, City Talk, Amber here, Amber M. M. That's Amber. Kilo's character. No one. Yes. <laughs> or, 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 the chocolate. The coffee. Or, or it's the yeah. coffee. I think it's <laughs> actually during break I took a thing and there was a chunk of coffee, chunk, chunk of chocolate. Nice. Hey, your nails are so pretty. They match Thank your you. outfit too. I know. I went to Soak Lounge in Reno, <gasps> Riverwalk District. Yes. See, I'm, I haven't I'm, been there. I really want to go. Oh, I've been there. I. You know what? Do you know what? What? I did one of my very first devs picks with Dream Pilot Films there. Wait, I saw oh. it. Did you get a pedicure? Uh huh. It I wasn't watched a pedicure. It was this cool thing. With the where, gel? Oh, the I gel. watched it. It was great. It was so Oh my cool. gosh, of course, Dream Pilot So did. if you, the at the end of the great. show, I think we're going to try to do a little That's clip great. of my devs pick. So if you guys, if you have a business, you have a restaurant, you have a, a store, anything you have, we would go to your place and we'll do a Deb's pick of whatever you'd like us to do a pick of. It could Ooh. be anything. The filming is amazing too. It looked, oh, they're it great. It looks so it, good. It was so professional. Obviously. When I saw it, I was like, oh my God. That's why we're here now yeah. because they're so good. But no, we, we will be doing the Deb's picks periodically and we will have a Deb's picks during the show. 
but we want to do live ones and we also can come to your location and film the show. Do you ever film go the show. to Amatitan, Jalisco? <laughs> I will. <laughs> yeah. We can we make that happen. We might have to plan a trip. Let's, Fly her let's out. plan a trip. No, we Amazing. can travel. Actually, Dream Pilot does travel all over the place. I do know that because mm. I've, I've seen on their social media, they're packing up all their gear and they've gone all over the place. They're incredible. So, they did a live show for the dog event that we did, I the Hollywood heard, fundraiser. I know. It was, it was insane. And I had no idea you could do something like that. I know. And they also are going to be doing, they're doing a lot with junkies, which junkies is in Midtown, but they're going to be moving yeah. to downtown. Oh and yeah, I did public see market. Jess's little So thing. they have a whole documentary. And I, junkies was one of my first supporters too. So we're all together. Yes. Anyway, so let tell us who we can do in this tapas tour really quick. And then I have some questions. All right. These you. are the eight businesses that eight are businesses. all Countdown. combined. Countdown. Countdown. Noble Pie. Dorinda's Chocolate. Wayfair, Pineapple Pedicabs, Wonder Ale Works, Ten Tour, Mary Chewies, Wood, wood <laughs> Fire Roasted Coffee, yeah. um, uh, Forest Street Station, and El Sativo <laughs> Tequila. Yay! Yay! <laughs> so that just shows you guys we are mm. all a team and we want mm. you to be a part of our team. Oh. So you need to Facebook us, message us. We want you to be a guest. We Buy want to. Yes. We and want I, to I have to add oh. in here oh. from oh. the. El Sativo oh. family, Deb, you do so much for the community. We just appreciate you so much. And so we wanted to give you a gift oh, of so our El Sativo cute. Blanco. Thank, Thank you. you. I love how that's wrapped. Did you do no, that? They do yeah. this when they do the gifts. I, oh. I actually have, this is this So like, cool. if you wanted to like give somebody a bottle of tequila, you could spruce can you, it up like that a little yes. bit. Yes. I mean, do you and do this? tequila or? chocolates. To keep it. Oh. With it. Just saying. Just saying. I like it. I like it. Light bulb. I love that. So I'm, we have a few more minutes, I think. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to quiz you guys. Wait, okay. them or can I be part of the quiz? No, you're part I'll of the play. quiz. No, you're playing. <laughs> okay, okay. I always want you to play. <laughs> what is the genre? Okay, it's, it's alcohol. <laughs> oh. okay. okay, okay. So here we go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a mix and you tell me what the drink is. Ooh, I wish okay. I was a bartender. I want to win. It's Dang a cocktail it. trivia because summer is in full swing yes. and it's time to pull out that cocktail set. And now it's time to sip on some good stuff. Hit me. So here we go. Gin, Jamie's gonna win this. Campori, sweet vermouth. Uh, Negroni. <laughs> One for you. <laughs> I was okay, like, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, yeah okay. Okay. totally. Okay. <laughs> Jamie a chocolate girl. You get okay. vodka. <laughs> Jamie's going to okay. Vodka, coffee liqueur, heavy cream. White Russian. Co what? Yeah. Uh, okay, we got to go fast. Dude. Okay, vodka, lime, and ginger beer. Mule. 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 Should have been faster on that one. Rye, whiskey, sweet vermouth. Manhattan. <laughs> Manhattan. Is it? Okay. okay, last one. Let's Not see. Try. Rum, vodka, tequila, gin, triple sec, lemon Long juice, Island 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 you up, but I didn't know that. Oh yeah, all it's, of that. Was yeah, either. it's all of that. So we are totally at the end. We're going to close out now. Um, I do want to end with a quote as well because that's what I do. Yeah. I love my quotes, but I also just want again thank you, and I want you thank you for listening and being a part of our city talk in our city, in your city, our city. We're all we're all connected. So here here's here's the quote, um, which is kind of a I love this quote. All dreams are within reach. All you have to do is keep moving towards them, Viola Davis. Mm -hmm. And the other one, believe you can, and you're halfway there, Theodore Roosevelt. And remember, guys, together we are one heart. And mm. thank you, Jamie, Jamie, Amber, for being here. And next week, you're going to get to meet Yvonne Murphy, who is one <gasps> of my other co-hosts. Oh, she's great. She's great. And she's great. I'm pretty sure I'll give you a little teaser. It's kind of June is men's health. So I think we're going to be talking a little bit about some men's health. We might have... It, June is, you didn't know? Men's June health is Men's month. Health Month. Nice. And I feel like as women, we need to be like, know what's going on Let's to keep our men yes. healthy. Keep our men healthy. Because sometimes they don't, well, actually women don't like, we just think we can conquer everything. Don't go. <laughs> but we are very grateful again for being here. Our second show is down. Thank you again to Ooh. Dream Pilots, Design on Edge, Kim Surratt. Thank you again to Amber, Jamie, and Jamie. Thank it's you, About Beth. Town Dev. And remember, together we are one heart.